Hey there, little guy. What's your name? My name's Kevin. Kevin. Well, my name is Fred. But you can call me Fred. How would you like a special treat? You had that dream again, didn't you? About him. Remember what I told you? Daddy made him go away. He's not coming back. And pretty soon we're going to move to our nice new house in Cleveland, far away from Elm Street. You know I love you. Now get some sleep. tired for this. My dad had his morning screwdriver, but today he decided to skip the orange juice. Cut into my beauty sleep. Beauty sleep? You must be an insomniac.
Who assigns reports on dream catchers in Indian mumbo jumbo? An old hippie like our teacher. Let's see, according to the Lakota, an ancient trickster, Iktomi, turned into a spider to terrorize one woman, but she tricked him into teaching him how to weave a web. That's the first dream catcher. <laughs> Jolene would freak, she hates spiders. Speaking of that delectable sister of yours, aren't she gonna hook you up with one of our hot little friends? I'm not looking. Dude, when are you gonna get back up on that horse? It's been a year since Amy. Peter, that's enough. So, buddy, like what you see? <laughs> Tried drawing her naked yet? Quit it, purr. Jeez, Maddie. You know, she is my sister's best friend. If you wanted me to, I could... No, no. It's, it's good. Have you thought about asking her to be your study partner? Study partner? Yeah, remember our teacher said, be sure to find a study partner. I'm sure her and Jolene are study partners. No, no, Joe and I are. No, it's weird how uh, you and Jolene are twins, but you don't look that much alike. Maybe because we're fraternal twins. After all this time, I think it'd get a little easier. I gotta go. What's up with him? Look. Jolene's gone. Ashley's all alone. Peter, come on. She's just a girl. She's not gonna bite you. <laughs> not unless you're really, really lucky anyway. You've been pining over ever since you moved here. Just go talk to her. Fine, I'll go. Five bucks as he chickens out. Five bucks, and you have to be my study partner. You're on. Hi. Um, I don't know if you remember me. Uh, we used to hang out as kids. Uh, name's Kevin. Kevin Marks. Little Kevin from Elm Street? Yeah. Of course I remember you. Oh my gosh, I thought you had moved away. My parents decided to move back. Uh, came back and found out that our old house is for sale, so moved right back in. Anyways, I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to catch up sometime and study partners or something? Yeah, sure. I'd love to. Really? Uh, cool. Can I call you? Sure. Let me give you my number. Oh yeah. Gotta go, but talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Thank God it's Friday. When have you ever thanked God for anything? My dad's taking me to a Reds game this weekend. You're like the son your dad never had. Hey, if your dad wanted a son and he had two daughters, you'd be the son he never had if it made him love you. I wonder where Bandit is. I bet he's off somewhere trying to learn how to type with one hand. Yeah, well, you're the master of one-handed typing. <laughs> I think I found Bandit. What's up, bro? You the reason why we was up at detention oh, all day yesterday? Oh, look at the little Bandit right here. Look at him huh? one arm Bandit. No one-handed. What's happening uh, with you it? You gonna fight back? Huh? You gonna fight back? Why don't you give me a left hook? Leave him alone! Oh look, TJ. It's two for one day at the freak shop. 
Yeah, I think it's time for checkout. This is what you get for scamming my girlfriend. your fucking business. I thought maybe you'd change, but you're nothing but a thug. We're through. <coughs> Steven! Uh, Steven, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, Joe. Uh, I'm fine. Thank you, partner. Thanks for just jumping in, you guys. You drew this? Yeah. It's beautiful. Thanks. Are you okay? Are you sure? So... You're Jolene, huh? I'm Peter. Pretty much, you know, Bandit's best friend. <laughs> hey, thanks for giving me a ride. No problem. Felt bad for, you know what happened with Brock. Don't worry about it. We were kind of over a long time ago. I kept thinking maybe somehow I could change him, but that's never going to happen, so don't worry about it. Um, but what about you and Maddie? Aren't you going out? <laughs> me and Maddie? No, she's like a sister to me. Oh, okay. Um, well, I guess I'll get going now. Well, if you want to, we can uh, get together tomorrow and work on that research paper. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, I guess I'll just see you later. All right. Talk to you later. Mm-hmm. If I could draw like you, I'd have her pose for me. Every night. You're home. 
How's mommy's little angel? Hi, Kevin. I'm Dr. Glover. He's a therapist from Weston Hills. Weston Hills? The Nut House. I'm not crazy. I. Give me those! These are my pictures! You had no right to bring him here. What is this, some kind of ambush? Kevin, if you would just hear him out. Oh, hear him out. Then what? Have him put me in a padded room? Kevin, no one is going to put you in a padded room. You know what? Screw this. Kevin, wait! Hey, bro. Hey. Thanks for letting me stay. It's no problem. Seems like a pretty bad fight with you and your parents. At least I can do. Yeah. Thanks anyway.
inside of me. I can't hold him any longer. You must be strong where I was weak. You must be Understand. You died. Hold me. Sad. 
memories, kid. But the real nightmares just start. Let's dig open some old world! Tell me for that asshole, Kevin. Check it out, bro. I ain't say you could stay here. Keep me up all night bitching about Ashley, man. Excuse me. Should have cut that fucker when I had the chance. Markers here for the dozens my son, the abomination, butchered in his lifetime. He even claimed me. There is no marker for him, though. His death was done in secret. What's happening? I sought to contain him, but. I grew weak from the ongoing battle within myself. Your pain became his anger. children <clears throat> so uh, what did it say on the nun's tombstone returned unopened
I think I know who killed Bandit, Brock, and TJ. Who? Do you guys... Do you guys remember the child murder, Fred Krueger? How could I forget? That ice cream truck was going up and down our road every day, playing one, two, buckle my shoe. Yeah, that's where we got our nursery rhyme about him from. He kidnapped me when I was a kid. And the detective saved me, but Kruger went free because of some te technicalities. And pretty much ever since then, I've been having nightmares about him. The other night I had a dream that he killed Bandit. Dude, I can't believe you're bringing up the legend in a time like this. Legend? What legend? The Freddy legend. That after he got out of jail, all the parents of the murdered kids went to his house and burned him to death? He was burned in my dream. What else does the legend say? They say that Freddy came back to get revenge on all the surviving kids through their nightmares. And if he kills you in your dream, you're dead. Period. Every few years, there's a bunch of deaths, all unexplained. If this is true, we have to get to Jolene. We have to warn her. Where is she? She's been committed to Weston Hills. The way she was raving, they think she killed Bandit. I'll drive. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can count me out. Peter, you can't be serious. It's just a freaky coincidence. Your dream and the legend. Yeah, a little bit too much to be coincidence. Listen, Bandit was my friend a lot longer than he was yours. I, I have to go. Peter, wait! Kevin, let him go. He needs a space. Right now, we need to get to Jolene. There's something I want you to have. I don't need this. You don't want it. We need to talk alone. I know you're telling the truth. So let me get this straight. Last week, you lost a patient's chart. And now this poor girl, you've overdosed? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dr. Glover. Sorry? What is this, a game? Playing nurse? I'm sorry. Please don't fire me. You're not fired. I'm not? No. You're dead, bitch! <laughs> Welcome to my parlor! He was nice. There were a lot of people there for Stephen. It's all my fault. <laughs> what do you mean? My 
birthday, our 16th birthday, I wanted to party all to myself, just me and my friends. And so he went driving with Amy. <laughs> if I hadn't been so selfish, he wouldn't have had the accident. <laughs> he could have defended himself. <laughs> Jolene, don't talk that way. Nothing could have changed what happened. <laughs> and I keep having these nightmares about a man. He's wearing an old brown hat and a striped sweater. And he's burned. <laughs> and the worst part is he has this glove with knives on it. And he wants to kill me. <laughs> it's just a scary dream, right? What am I about to tell you? I've never told anyone. I used to have a sister. Her name was Annie. She was a little older than me. I've always been into sports, hoping to get Dad's attention. But after Mom died, Annie wanted to be like her, a beautician. She was a cosmetology student. I heard a noise, so I got out of bed to see what was wrong. Now, it's time to take a little off the top. <laughs> tell anyone before now. I thought it was crazy, but now I know it's true. Hello. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to ask you all to leave for now. Kevin, I didn't know you were friends with this young lady. Are uh, you alright? Look, I just want to say I'm sorry for the other afternoon. That uh, wasn't right, uh, having that sprung on you like that. Yeah. I just want to let you know that my door is always open to you. Um, but for now, I am going to have to ask you guys to leave. I do need to have some time to speak to Miss Hendricks. We have to go now, okay? Don't let them put you to sleep. He's not a dream. He's real. I'm sorry. Business just came up. I can't avoid it. I gotta go out of town. But what about the game? I'm sorry, sport, but we're just gonna have to catch a game some other time. There's plenty of them left. Right. I understand.
That's my sport. I'll be back in a few days. Thanks, Dad. Now, the question is, have you ever lusted over a woman? Matthew chapter 18, verse 9 says, If your eye causes you to sin, you should gouge it out. I think we need to lay on hands! Um, thanks for having me over. It's no problem. We're glad you came over. You know, I remember when you and Kevin used to play house together. Marie, you're gonna give him a complex. Too late. I remember your mother and I used to sit at the park and talk while you and... Kevin played, but that was before, well, you know. Oh, somebody passed the bread. Oh, you know what? We forgot to say grace. Dale? Oh, um... Yeah, Grace, uh, right. <sighs> Thanks, God, for, um, food and, uh, uh, family and food and all. Amen. 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 God bless us, everyone. Sorry about that. My parents know. Hey, uh, it's okay. It's nice to see him again. Yeah. For you, maybe. I don't know. It's just... It's been weird being around my parents. It always has been. It just feels like... They're very fake. Maybe it's just me. I'm so tired. I'd give anything for a good night of sleep. Kevin, there's something I want to show you. my room? Well, you sure have a lot of dream catchers. <laughs> I guess I picked a good study partner. But, uh, I didn't know that you were Native American. Yeah, it's from my dad. 
He was a police officer. He used to call me his little winchinchala. It means little girl. He gave me this. Died in the line of duty when I was five. I don't really remember any of it. Um, the doctor said that I was in too much shock. Does that make any sense? Some girls have elephants or unicorns. I guess I just have dream catchers. Do they give you good dreams? No. They're supposed to protect you from the bad ones. You believe these things magically protect people from nightmares? No. For me, the dream catcher is more of a symbol. Evil seems so strong, but it's only strong because it's hiding in darkness. It can't stand to be brought into the light because then it can't hide anymore. It's exposed for what it is burned away. Here. I want you to have one. Really? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Things are really scary right now, Kevin. I'm glad I have you. Yeah. Who is this? This is Kevin. Kevin Marks. Marks? Did you say Marks? Get out of my daughter's room. Just get out of my house! Sorry about yesterday. Are you okay? <laughs> Don't worry about yesterday, man. We're in this together. Ashley and I were going to a West and after school visit Jolene. After that, We'll all get together and figure this out, alright? Just promise me you won't go to sleep tonight. 
You can count on it. Come on, bro. What do you know about tricksters? I heard of one named Iktomi. Know anything about him? There's a lot of stories about Iktomi. In one story, he controlled someone with strings like a puppet. Why? Uh, nothing. Just something I've been thinking about. Surprised you'd see me after last night. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I don't know why my mom acted that way. It's all right. I guess we all have our share of crazy parents. Kevin? Listen, go ahead. Um, there's something I need to do while we're here. Bad time, I can. Yeah. No, no, please sit, sit. I see you were admiring uh, my dart trophy, uh, old hobby. What can I do for you, Doctor Glover? Um, what do you know about nightmares? Ah, well, scientifically, there is very little that we know about dreams. One thing I do know is that only in our worst nightmares are we confronted by the person that we truly are, whether we see it as ourself or something else. Your parents told me you've been having a problem with night terrors. All of your symptoms point to a condition that's called post-traumatic stress disorder. Do you know of it? No. As a child, your young mind experienced trauma beyond which it could comprehend. So you locked it away, acting it out in the night terrors, working it out with your drawings. After all these years, Kruger is still alive in your mind. Not just mine. What do you mean? Bye. 
killing people in their dreams, Kevin? You need to look at your nightmares for what they really are. Your brain's attempt to reconcile your childhood tragedy. I'm sorry. You need to look at this thing realistically. Under all that. <laughs> yeah. I'm really impressed with you getting rid of it all. Never told anyone how much I struggle with this kind of stuff. I was too embarrassed, you know? I mean, who would have really been there for me? I would have been there for you. Really? Well, when my mom died, you were the only one who really understood since you'd lost your mom too. That really meant a lot to me. But then, I don't know, you just changed. I was 11 when I first saw it. Flipping through the channels and there it was. I mean, I wanted more. TV, magazines, anything. I became obsessed. This is not the person I want to be anymore. I do not want to be remembered as some girl crazy horn dog. Don't talk that way. I'll go make us some coffee.
Okay. <laughs> Steven, you're not supposed to be here. Did you think I'd leave without saying goodbye? Steven, I'm so sorry. It's not my fault. Don't you understand? I'm whole again. And done with Amy. I'm finally happy. Do you believe me now? Yes. Have the tests been done to determine the cause of death? According to our tests, Jolene died from massive amounts of spider venom. Spider venom? The amount of venom in her body. She would have had to have been bitten by thousands of spiders. Yet there were no marks. No indications of any kind of attack. It was Kruger. You and I both know it. I do! But I can't tell that poor girl's parents that dream spiders killed their daughter. Hang on. Jolene was terrified of spiders. Her, her brother told me. Makes sense. Kruger must exploit the things we fear most to make us vulnerable. The night he came back, it, it was like he was feeding off my memories to make himself strong. Why are you sticking your neck out for me anyways? I was a medic in Nam. Came back with PTSD, just like you. I know the hell a man's past can be. How'd you overcome it? Well, I learned that if you want to reach for tomorrow, you have to let go of yesterday. And I did. I wish it were that easy. But my yesterday is holding on to me. Have you ever considered hypnosis? No. No, I... He's in there somewhere. I... I just can't. Very well. We've got a lot of work to do, Kevin. Come back later. In the meantime, I've got some digging. Alright. Kevin. Just think about it. As long as he can use your memories against you, he has power over you. I can't believe Peter's gone. How are you holding up? I haven't slept since my dad left for his business trip. I haven't slept much either. Every time I do, he's there. past 13 years, every night, he's always there. But now he's real. Kevin, I'm in this with you. Too many people have died already. It started with me and it's going to end with me. I won't rest until he stops. until he's dead. I 
found Kruger's file. He was born here. Frederick Charles Kruger, born September 13, 1942, to Amanda Kruger, later named Sister Mary Helena. According to the file, she was locked in with the inmates over the Christmas weekend. They found her raped, beaten, starving, and pregnant. Oh, God. He grew up in foster care, got drafted, went to Nam, was dishonorably discharged, torturing a Vietnamese prisoner. What's wrong? It's just the detective that arrested Kruger and saved me. He's someone else, too. He's my father. I have to know, Mother. Tell me. If you want the truth, I'll give you the truth. Your father was so caught up trying to rescue him that he forgot to read Kruger's rights, and that's how he got away. And that's how your father lost his job. I don't understand, Mom. You told me Dad died in the line of duty. After Kruger was freed, he came back after you. took you out of revenge. Your father went and rescued you, and then he went back after him. Ooh, I get to cough. But he wasn't the only one. A bunch of parents got together, and they went and burned the place down. Your father was in there. You had no memory of what happened. You were in shock. I didn't want to tell you. I just wanted you to have peace. So, uh, that's why you hate Kevin. Oh, there's more. His parents started the mob! They're the reason your father's dead. We should just go to Glover, and from there we can make a plan and No. Kevin, stop. Ashley, but we really need to... No. Everything I ever believed about my dad was a lie. You and me are the same. I know, but Ashley... We need a plan. I mean... No, Kevin, I can't do this anymore. Everyone around us is dying, and... <laughs> Just... Wait, what... What are you saying?
I'm saying you need to leave now. Ashley, please, I just... Just Kevin, give me a... We can I'm, figure this no. out. Please. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Goodbye, I'm sorry. Ashley. I'm sorry, Winchinchala, but I have to go. I'll be back for this. I love you. Kevin! The hypnosis. Let's do it. Kevin? Yes? Where are you? I'm in front of my house. Lane. He's talking to me. Who's talking to you? Freddy. He told me to call him Freddy. He's hurting me. Make him stop. Make him go to the red room. Kevin. What's the red room? That's where I made him go. So he couldn't hurt me anymore. Time to put this baby to bed. <laughs> You'll never see the light of day again. <laughs> You'll never be rid of me. I am Elm Street. I'm not finished with you yet, Piglet. You hear? No one gets away from me. Dr. Glover, you! <laughs>
my children. As soon as I went inside, I regretted pushing you away. Dr. Glover is, is gone. And now I'm alone. You're not alone. Whatever Kruger's doing, he's doing to both of us. We're in this together. my dream catcher. I doubt it would make a difference. Dad, when are you going to be home? I just got on the road. I'm a few hours away. Please hurry.
double header. Annie. <laughs> Do you like my work? Yeah. You're really good. Well, after it happened, I, I had all these emotions and nowhere to put them, so I put them on paper. I love art. I'd love to work in a museum someday. If you ever get a job there, maybe you can hook me up. Why do you stay down here? The nightmares. It's, it's too hard to stay in my room. I don't remember having any nightmares growing up about what happened. He's taken so much from me. I'm, I'm afraid of get much closer it will take you too I'm not going anywhere Oh, is Maddie there? Wait, what? You... Ashley! Ashley, wake up! Ashley. Dreamcatchers. What are you talking about? You never had any dreamcatchers. Where's Kevin? Kevin? Kevin who? Kevin who? What do you mean, Kevin who? Kevin Marks! Ashley, honey, the Marks boy died when you were little. You remember, don't you? Is something wrong in here? Dad? Daddy? Dad? 
Daddy, I can't believe it's you. I've missed you so much. Rich and Charlie, it's all been a bad dream. She's in it pretty deep. It's in God's hands now. Can I see her? No, I'm afraid not. It's a hospital policy. Family only. What are you doing here? I'm the one who brought her here to get help. Help? The best thing you could do if you want to help my daughter is disappear. God help me, as far as I'm concerned, the best thing you could have done for my family is die as a child. those maniacs and what they could do to me more than I trusted God to deliver me from them when they finally found me it was already growing inside of me I was so scared I gave him up for adoption so many innocences. It's on my hands. Because I was weak. If you couldn't stop him, then how can I? What do I think of how to? 
horribly I wronged him. And when I think of how much I am to blame, I just can't. Did you see? In spite of everything that he's done, he is my son. I would have sacrificed myself for all of them. Can you surrender everything and trust me? of your tricks anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. I'm getting bored. <laughs> Ashley, show me what you're made of, kid.
your
you wish you were in hell. Thank you. 
It's all that can. It's over now. Do you remember when I said that I would give anything to get a good night's sleep? Yeah. I think I just did. Monster. I hate what I've become The darkness 